Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Cash App and more specifically, I'm going to talk about how to add someone on Cash App. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, this is going to be a really quick video, not a lot to talk about here. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And if you're not familiar with Cash App, basically it's a peer to peer money transfer system or money transfer app. And this is the app right here. It's this green and white one. If you don't have this app already, check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open the app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Cash App and this is the home screen. And here on the home screen, you can go ahead and request money and pay people through Cash App. But why would you wanna add someone on Cash App? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. You may not know it, but you might think that Cash App is something like adding a friend on Facebook or adding somebody on Instagram, but it's actually not. It's a little bit different. You don't actually add people into Cash App. Usually if you want to pay somebody money through Cash App or request money, from somebody through Cash App, you're going to use their phone number or their email or their cash tag name. You don't necessarily need to add them into your phone book, but if that's something you like to do, there is a way to do that. So first off, if you are going to add somebody to pay, what you want to do is type in how much you would like to pay them. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just type in $1. Then if you want to add someone to pay them, you click on this pay button down here. I'm going to click there now. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to see some suggested people on Cash App. And these are people that you've already paid or they've requested money from you. So you can go ahead and click on them and pay them. But if you'd like to add someone on Cash App to pay, you're just gonna type in either their cash tag, their phone number, or their email address. And if you've already paid that buddy through your, their name, cash tag, phone number, or email, then their information will just pop up right there. Once you've paid them or they've paid you or requested money through Cash App, then they would be added into your suggested. But there isn't like a friends list or something like that on Cash App. So let me go ahead and close this out. Okay, I went ahead and closed that out. Now, if you'd like to see which one of your contacts are already members of Cash App, you can find that out by clicking on this button down here, which is your Cash App history. It's this little clock icon here at the bottom. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the activity screen is going to show all the different payments you've recently received or sent also any kind of pending transactions. But if you want to see your address book and people you've already added on Cash App, you want to click on this green button right here called Get $5. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked on that button. And once you click there, it's going to show the contacts that you gave access to Cash App to view in your phone. And through your contacts, you can see who has Cash App and who does not. So as you can see right here on the right, this has a green check mark. I'm sorry, a white check mark. So this person already has Cash App. This one down here does not, so you can click on get and invite them to join Cash App. And if they join with your link, then you get $5 once they followed a couple of steps. Now, you may be like me and don't like to give apps access to your contacts to add into Cash App, but I must have done this accidentally at one point or another and it gave Cash App access to my contacts so I can easily see how to add somebody into Cash App. Now, this is only adding them in as an invite. This doesn't really have anything to do with sending them money or them sending you money. That's completely separate. This is only if you're looking to add somebody into Cash App in order to get the $5 referral promotion that Cash App is running right now. So again, if you're wondering how to add somebody into Cash App, it's not really necessary unless you just need to know their phone number. If they don't wanna give you a phone number, then they need to give you an email address that's associated with their Cash App. If they don't wanna give that to you either, then they need to give you the Cash App name or Cash Tag. Once you have one of those bits of information, then you can easily add them into Cash App to make a payment to them or to request money from them. But if you're sending money to someone and they are hesitant to give you the phone number or their email, then it might not be a good idea to send them money through Cash App unless you know them personally because it shows that you don't have a good relation with them and it's possible that they accept the money and then just block you. So kind of keep that in mind if you are looking to add someone into Cash App. So there you have it. That's the tips that I have on adding someone into Cash App. If there's something else that you know that I missed out on, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.